morning. It's so good to see you here. So school has started and all that works. Many of you are in class and getting busy. So I've got a question for you. Have you all taken a break yet? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Well, I'm going to encourage you, though, as we're going to hear from the gospel reading this morning, to take a break at some point. To take a break and relax. Because in our reading this morning, we have Jesus where he's going to feed the 5,000. He has the loaves and fishes. And then somehow that, you know, through Jesus, an amazing uh, power that feeds 5,000 people from just a few pieces of fish and loaf, of loaves of bread. But what's important that before that, though, Jesus calls the disciples to go and take a break, to go away and rest a while. And I believe that's there so that we do take breaks, because by taking a break, taking a Sabbath, as we would say in church, is good because it gives us a chance to recharge, to build up our strength so that we can go out and do great things in the name of Christ, so that we can be the people God calls us to be. So it's okay to take a break from it all and to relax and rest so you can get that energy and do good in school and do good in your activities, but most of all, so that you can follow Christ. So let us pray. Almighty God, we give thanks for your Son who reminds us to take a break, to take a break from it all so we can relax and recharge so that we can be built up and go out and do great things in your name. Lord, be with us as we go into our activities and to the school year, as we go into all the things that we do. May we enjoy them to the fullest, but may we enjoy our breaks as well. Lord, we give thanks for this and for your Son, Jesus Christ. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, you all have a good week. We'll catch you later. Thank <laughs> you.